Hi, this is Kay from IK, and we're going to show you a quick way to customize your bottle cap images with text. So first, we're going to go to PicMonkey, and it's www.picmonkey.com. And the nice thing about this site is you don't have to download anything, you don't have to register, you don't have to give them your email address or anything like that. But before we get started with that, Whenever you're going to be working with your images and changing them in any way, the first thing you want to do is go to your images. And we're going to work on the basketball image today. So before I do anything to it, because I don't want to lose my original file, especially if you've you know, purchased it online, you don't want to have to repurchase it because you saved it with changes and now you've lost your file. So first we're going to Go ahead and just click once on that, and I'm going to go over to Organize, and I'm going to click on Copy. And I'm going to go back to Organize, and I'm going to click on Paste. So now I have a copy of that image. So whatever I do to it, if I accidentally save my changes to it, you're still going to have the original image. So we'll go ahead and close that, and we'll head back to PicMonkey. And just start with Edit Your Photo. Click on there. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to open up this copy. Okay. And over here, this letter P, that's your text. And you can pick whichever font you want to use. I happen to like this one. It shows up pretty well on the bottle cap images. Just click in the text box and type in whatever text you want to add to your image. And we're just going to add state champs to this one. And let's see if I can spell correctly. There we go. State champs. And I'm going to click Add. And you can move this around. As just put it there, and you can drag it. There's little dots on the side that'll let you reshape it. And we're going to go over here to this little text editing box. And I'm going to click Center because I want my text centered. And just click on the little ball and drag it around until you get the color you want. And we'll go with maybe a, a dark green on that. So I've got that there. It's a little, it's just about centered, but I'm going to move it over just a little bit. So I've got it the way I want it. And you have a few more options. If you just hold your cursor over top of the text, and you right click, you'll get a menu like this and you'll have something that says duplicate type and that's going to make a copy of it. So if you want to put the same text on each one of these, you don't have to retype everything. You can just right click, go to duplicate, and then put another one on there. And I think I just moved the wrong one. That's okay. We'll straighten that one out. It's really easy to move around and do things. And so if you want to type in something else, just click on the image until your your box closes there, and then type in something new. Say you wanted to put the names of all the girls on the team, one on each of the basketballs, and just type in Emily there. Click Add. And we'll move this over here and make it a little larger. And do a different color with this one. You want to make sure your colors aren't too light if you're working on a light background because it can be hard to see them. So you may have to play with it a little bit. You'll see when you print if it's going to really show up or not. So we'll go for. Oh, I was going for maroon. There we go. That's that's pretty close. <laughs> it's a little hard to get the exact color you want on this one, but it still works pretty good. And I like that one that way. And just click out of there. So you get the idea. It's very simple to add the text. And then we're just going to scroll down. Let's see. Can't quite see it in the viewing screen here. Let me click there so you can actually see this full screen. And down here you have your save option. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to save. And we're going to rename this, and we're just going to say text. So if 
you were working with your original image and you forgot to change the name, when you go to save, it's going to override your original image and you'll have lost the original image and this will be what you have. That's why we made the copy at first. It doesn't sound that important until you accidentally save and lose your image the first time and then it does seem pretty important. And we got our original height and I got the quality to the highest and I'm just going to click on save photo. And this is we were in this folder, this already opened because I was already here. So I have a collection of bottle caps with text that I put in here and I'm just going to go ahead and save that to the folder that I want it in. And it's saved. So if I wanted to work on a different image, I can upload a new image and go back to my bottle cap images. And we'll do a little different. This is a cute pink cameo that I have. And we'll just do something real cute for the girls. We'll put that. I'm going to shrink that down and then center the text. And we're going to just do a black. So I'm going to pull that all the way down to the bottom. If you want to change your text once you start, you can just go back in here. And I think if I hit enter there, that'll let me center it a lot better. So you can do that. And it pretty much opens up your options. You can find a lot of these different backgrounds. I have quite a few of them in the shop where you can add your own and just customize it without the picture in the background being too obnoxious and too distracting. And again, I forgot to go ahead and save a copy of this, so we'll be really careful multiples of all my images saved already, but just in case, we're going to make sure we rename this so it doesn't save over top of my original file. So we add a text and just save photo and put it in here with all of my other text ones and just click save. And you can open them up and print them as you normally would with any of your other bottle cap images. But it gives you a really quick, very easy way. And like I said, if you go to this picnicmonkey.com, you don't have to register. You don't have to give them an email address. You don't have to sign in or anything like that. Works great and you don't have to give out any personal information. Ideas for some fun new things you can try.